This is the showing of how five exceptionally talented athletes lost their future over their destructive decision to consume illegal and harmful substances. What was all that about? Oh, I was just saying hi to somebody. What the heck were you doing? I wasn't even doing anything. Don't tell me you're using again. I'm not. What's that? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just something for a project. Please tell me it's not what I think it is. No, no. Did you guys hear Chloe and Tika were vaping again? Yeah, I think Lauren's back on pills too. Yeah, and Sasha's drinking again. You're joking. I thought she quit after she got alcohol poisoning at Sam's party. And I heard Sam's doing marijuana again. Is anyone else confused by this? Maybe their dealer's back. I could have swore they quit. Do you think the dealer could be Linus? He's been acting really sus recently, and I think I saw him through the bleachers the other day. No chance. He'd never do anything to hurt his friends like that. I don't think he would do it to purposely hurt them, though. He's probably just doing it for some extra cash. And I have been seeing him think around, so it could be him. I could have swore I saw something on his private story about getting his stuff. So it is him. Does he have a fake ID? He has to. How else would he be getting everything? He'd get charged with a felony. Do you understand how many crimes he's committing? He's smart too. I can't believe he'd burst his future for a couple of extra dollars. Guys, we really have to do something about this. Our friends are just going to end up getting hurt. We can't say anything and ruin their futures. They've all got athletic scholarships waiting for them. They already ruined their futures by putting drugs in their body. Yeah, Laurel's right. At this point, I'm more worried about their safety than their stupid scholarships. Come on, Lucas. He's obviously just going to end up killing our friends. You guys are right. We'll say something tomorrow. yourself, man, and you can hurt a lot of other people here as well. Look, I just needed some extra money on the side. I didn't think it was going to get this bad. Yeah. You, you got a fake ID, too? Yes, sir. Yeah? Where do you get it from? I ordered it from China. China? Okay. So not only are you committing felonies, you're paying a foreign country to uh, give you some fake identity while you're giving them your real identity? You have no idea what they can do with that information. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right, man. Well, I'm going to have to cut you, all right? So do me a favor and stand up. Put your hand behind your back. All right, good. My name is Sasha Verma, and I've been playing lacrosse for two years now. It was my dream to go to college at UF and play for them. They even offered me a full ride scholarship until my coaches and peers found out that I was illegally purchasing alcohol and drinking it. Now my scholarship has been revoked and everything is falling apart. My name is Lauren Hanley and I've been playing soccer for 12 years. For as long as I can remember, it's been my dream to play soccer in college, but it wasn't until recently when I got a full ride scholarship to UF that my dreams were finally coming true. That was until my friends, family, and coaches found out that I was addicted to and overusing drugs. I was looked at poorly and lost trust in everyone. But the worst part of it all, my scholarship was gone. My name is Samantha Morris, and I've been playing volleyball for about eight years. My dream since I was little was always to play volleyball at the University of Oregon for college. I was able to obtain a scholarship for the school. However, this year, before a volleyball game, my coaches caught me in possession of marijuana. Due to that, I was pulled from the team and the coaches at Oregon were contacted and they pulled my scholarship. Everything that I've been working for the past eight years was taken away just like that. My name is Tico Williamson and I've been playing football for 12 years now. Ever since I was a kid, all I could imagine is me being the next Hall of Famer. And that soon came true when I became a five-star and the Nick Saban offered me a full-ride scholarship to the University of Alabama. 
After that, I went down a long, dark road of nicotine and drugs. One night, we were partying so hard, my friend caught me on video with a Nick stick. That video ended up getting to Nick Saban himself, and he ended up telling me that my offer was revoked, and not soon after, my stars had been gone too. Was it really worth it? My name is Chloe Gilligan, and I have been cheering for 11 years now. Cheerleading is always something that I have been passionate about, and it wasn't brought upon me until recently that my future might be at stake. I was granted scholarship money to be able to cheer at any college of my choice that had a team. And my peers and my family and everyone I cared about found out that I had been vaping and decided that I needed to get help. Due to this, my scholarship money is now gone and my future plan is all ruined, all because of a vape. We could have all lived out our dreams. And continued on to have successful futures. If we just said no the first time we would offer drugs. They do not make you cool or any more popular. All they do is harm your body and lead to a future of medical issues and possible death. To understand how to stop and prevent drug use, we must first understand why teens are tempted to try them in the first place. Common reasons teens abuse drugs are for peer pressure, curiosity, and stress at home. Did you know that approximately 40% of high schoolers reported drinking in the last month? Did you know one in five teens have abused prescription medication? Did you know 21% of high schoolers reported using marijuana in the past month? Did you know 27.5% of high schoolers use vape products? Did you know that over 70,000 Americans died from drug overdoses in 2019? Well, now you do, and it's your responsibility not to become part of the statistic. All you have to do is say no. The fight to end underage drug use could start with me. 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 With us. With me. With you!